Het is jouw fijn dat ik hier ben en dat je mijn haren gaat knippen. En ik had graag lekker kort. Zoals wat de shorts herstellen. Ja, met die piekjes hier. Ja. En dan ja, hier zo bij de oren. Soft. En dan uh, lekker uh, niet in één keer zo opgeschoren, maar ja goed, jij ja, weet dat yeah. dan. Jij weet hoe dat moet. En dan leuk van die plukjes. Ja, het was wel een huh? uh, nice short, fresh, fresh uh, spring, summer herstel. In haar ja. natural colors. Ja. Wil je wat je draaien? Ja. Kijk eens wat een bos. En she really does short hair. Oh, ik ben zo blij dat ze Dank je wel. Hallo friends on YouTube. Toss is back to have a new hairstyle. I start of course with protection like I always do. I'm gonna work on this. Of course. Do you have a nice cape? Yeah. Toss always wondering where her hands are, <laughs> but now she can see them. But for those hairdressers who have a lot of young people in the salon, they can watch that on the cell phone. But I don't like it in the, in the shop because I don't like people on the cell phone while I'm doing the hair because I'm not a robot, I'm a person. Start by wetting the hair. And in front of uh, doing a hair, I put a little bit no yellow spray on there to reduce while I'm cutting. The yellow colors that are still in, into the hair speed is not much, but this is a product of attitude. In the Netherlands, it's delivered by Rover. But you can find them on the internet, of course. Ja, doet dat met je haar, Tim? Het haalt gele kleurtjes uit. Maakt het wat frisser, wat is het Weet je het zelf dat die shampoo? Ruikelijk. Ja, lekker hè? Ja. Het doesn't come with smell, but Tos tells me it smells really nice. Ja. This apply through the hairs with a leafy garden brush, that I'm certain that it's nicely spread. Oh, Ja. I think a neighbor is uh, cutting his wife to half. Oh god. Yeah? Yeah. Lay the hairs into the full. Take up the first line. Knowing that she wants a short hairstyle. So I go short. Fijn dat je tijd had. Oh. Yeah. My scissor is a Kiona scissor. It's a wheel slicing tool, but that's why it's also very, very sharp. And I really love sharp tools. Take up every time about a centimeter, almost a centimeter hair. Always lay the hairs to the side. Take one part up with my comb. And when you practice this enough, you don't have to part anymore. You see, I go with the flow. I really love to go into the folds mm. of the hairs because it always gives the best results. It's fucking out of game. <laughs> Coming out the back, there I lift the hairs up, hold some length. On the crown area, otherwise you don't get a round shape, I get a flat shape. I don't want that. Into the rounding, I take the hairs up. And correct the line. And travel like a clock. Only not picking. 
would be something thick, 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 thick. <laughs> I know the time. It's never too late to get short hair. Connect it to the line I just cut. And watch through the hairs because there you see the hairs turning in. So here I lift the hairs over to the other side. Otherwise, you don't get a flow into the hairs. Go in hand cutting. And work till I get on the center line again. Pointing my fingers to the neckline and the center of that. On the fold of the skull, I go in to get that short line that she likes. It was on that you can do it. Yeah. That light from the sky. Yeah, like it. The sun that is there. Now you see, without getting any techniques, it's really nice and full. So that's why I do it this way. I have a little feel. I have a fetish, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> Toss ask if I dream about haircuts. I, I do it a lot. Yeah. I'm always cutting hair. But I think because I share it with you, I, I, it's normal that I dream about hair. Yeah. Because I, I tell you everything. Coming above the ear, first set in the line to the back. Travel to the part or left to the center line. Go on the line beneath that. It's sweet on the plastic. On the plastic. Oh God, she's been here a lot. Hold the shit. I like his little nose. Yeah, this is a boy. Can I get a hair out of the boy? Oh, damn. So now I have a nice fall to the back. You see the movement of the hair as it goes to the back. When I'm behind the ears, I go in and point to the chin lines. And on the lines I make a, a shot. And the nice thing is working with the skull is that everybody has a skull. So everybody takes with him her, her or his own shapes. So he always can find a new line to cut in. And it never gets boring. And even there's a difference between winter time and summer time in the hair folds. Because the muscles will pull the hairs or release the, the tension on the hairs in summer time. So in summer time the hairs totally are different than in winter time. And every hair has its own muscle. Hurting. So when people say the hair hurts, it's not the hair that hurts, it's the muscle that hurts. Elk haartje. Ja. Prachtig ook, hè? Mm -hmm. Elk haartje. And we have about 360,000 hairs on our head. Jesus. So I never cut them because that is very boring. <laughs> it takes all day. <laughs> Cut hairs. 
We in the Netherlands recycle hair, so natural hair goes into a special uh, basket where it's natural hair. There it's going to a uh, fabric that takes out the proteins and the keratins. Then goes the hairs to tr uh, treated hairs and they make uh, 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 blankets. When there's um, oil pollution on sea, they lay it on the oil pollution so they can take the oil from the sea. Oh, super. In the Netherlands, it's called green scissor. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, geweldig. And I think we have only one world, so we have to take care of her. Precies. Without a world, we are nothing. Mooi dat je dat via dit medium. Uh... Now I start my slice techniques on the fold of the hair. So I go in, set my scissor a li little bit sideways, close the scissor. So I go into the flow. I can do it also in slow motion, but then I get a little bit tension on the hairs because the power I put into it makes the fun of the hairstyle. And this is a wonderful way to correct the lines make a playful hairstyle. And the nice thing of doing a slice technique is that you're always on the point where you want the techniques. So when you take a thinning scissor for example, it thins out over the total length of the scissor, so you don't have it on one part, and you cannot make difference in it, because all the teeth are mostly the same. Now I want a bit jumpy effect on this corner. So I'm going deep, hold my scissor straight up. So now I have little parts that take the hairs up and give it some stability and some power. Coming up the left side. Go in on the fall. Do the same. First, set out the lines that I want to have. Toss showed me a photo of a hairstyle she had for years ago that she really liked. Coming at the side, go into the fall again. Hold my fingers on her skin. Lay my knuckles into the holy bones so I can feel where I go. Connect to the line of cutting. Then, above the ear, I go the other way around. So, coming above the ear, still laying my fingers on the skin, and connect to the line above. The more I go to the center, the more my fingers go into the line and pointing to the center of the skull, into the neckline. <coughs> Just watch what the hair does. Coming at the fall to the front, take the hairs up to the front. A bit hard to do, so you can see what I'm doing. And normally I sit at the customers and now I stand. I find doing sitting hair is better. It's more stable and it travels fast. So now I have a nice short frame line. So now I can work this out. Don't need to do much. A little bit of slice techniques on this part because it's a little bit thick. So I take only the tip of my scissor, open it, and point it out, just where I want it. Then I go to other comb, 
because I see hairdressers working higher up with this kind of combs, but I don't like that because it's too small. Not stable enough. No more you better. Yeah. So I take this kind of combs, take it up, pull on the hairs, so pull them up, so they get straight into my comb. <coughs> take your time. We're not a barber shop, so we have about half our customer to cut hair. When you come at parts like this where you cannot reach the hairs, go in, pull the hairs the other way around and the rest I do with a clipper. But when I do it be necessary, I can do it all with scissor of comb. But then it takes a lot of time and I really love also working with a clipper. And a lot of girls find it very exciting to have a clipper on my head. It's not that they have a fetish, but the feeling of a clipper is always nice. But cutting with a, a normal scissor and a comb, you get nicer shapes because they are softer, nice flowing. She had to this again. Coming above the ear, then you see, take the ear down, go in, travel in the line of cutting, but then in the opposite line, so I pull the hair a little bit up to the center line and to the front to get a nice fall into the hairs. So you see how nice this falls. Coming to the front, wet it a bit, not totally wet. This I do also because dry hairs irritate the skin. Go in, lift the hairs up, pull them to the back. Travel gently up, connecting the lights. And for those who want to practice by like see, seeing my video, just take a comb and take a scissor and copy what I do with my hands because that's only practice can bring you to a good hairdresser. You have to practice, otherwise you don't get the feeling of it. So when I do this, for example, here and you are at home watching your screen, just take, take it with me. Try, try to copy my lines. You will see the fun of it. And if you want to work with me, just give me a call. Mm. Or send me a letter. By, <laughs> by bottle in the sea. No. <laughs> that takes too much time. Nice roundings. Holy bone is always different. Holding some night side mids, otherwise it gets too manly. I don't want that. I want to keep it feminine. So lift up what I don't want, like to have long, but make it nice and soft. The rest correct with the clipper. Lifting. On the fall of the skull, so you can see the lights. And then take my comb up above. Travel in, out, on the fall of the hairs. So never cut things twice because it's a boring thing to do. Just go to the line of cutting, not more than that. This I also do afterwards with a clipper. But again, when I want to do it with a comb, take the fine part of a comb, cutting on the, on the back of the comb. Target on that line. So you see you can go very short without clipper. 
but that's all I need to show you that it's possible. Coming to the running on the back, first I have to go a little bit to the center line because I have to fall, fall into the fall and then I go to the other side. Watch to the hairs above, watch how they fall and then go into the lines. Het is echt lekker aardig geluidje. Oh, oh. <laughs> and um, with a stork, uh, oh, a stork yeah. bite. Yeah. So a lot of people have that. Yeah. That's the right red spot in your neckline. Yeah. So there was the, the stork taking you yeah. up and brought you to your mother. Yeah. Again, go to the line of cutting. Lift it up and soften it. I was not a baby, she was not a baby. I 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 was a baby. She was nine pounds. Pound. Yeah. And the stork has now a protection around his neck. <laughs> it's the only way to survive as a stork. Oh, I was one, uh, eight and a half pounds. Yeah. So we in the Nellis are large babies. <laughs> I'm the first in line. Oh, so my mom had to do a, a really big job. Yeah, I think that's it. Turn a bit. So come yeah. to the front. Go in, just above the holy bone, soften the line, again, go in the opposite lines, bring the hairs to the point where you can see where the fall starts, and then go into the fall. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm going to hit you. Okay, I'm going to do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 Although when I was young, I watched uh, totally a lot commercials. I really loved commercials when I was yeah. young. But then they didn't lie. And nowadays they all lie. Yeah, but this is a nazi, okay? Yeah, sure. Turn a bit. Switch over to the fine part of my comb. Do the same as I did on the other side. Holding a nice soft side beard. Following, of course, the natural line size like I always do. Tour line, and then I have to make uh, the, the fringe a little bit more jumpy and stylish. Take my smallest Dione clipper. Take a fine comb.
clean the contour line, leaning only on the step, pull the ear down, go behind the ear, totally down, just the tip of my clipper, make a nice circle around the ears. She was a nine pound baby, a pound, she was a nine pound baby, but when she was two months old, her shape was this. So you, when you watch into her ears, you know what she was as a fetus, two months, two and a half months old. Yeah? Yes. The shelf for your ear. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so then you couldn't see that she was a nine and a half pound baby. Yeah, could see. Nee. You can see it on this. No, it's not so. No, no, no. You can, that is well echt een beetje. Yeah? That is how you actually focus for this. This is the best of your Yeah, this is the best Yeah, yeah. Okay. And everybody has his own ears. And two of them. A totally different ears. Never the same. Als je het blijven goeie ook, hè? Ja, dat is het. Zeggen ze. Dat alles gewoon is, ja. Ach. Ja, jong door het gaan is ook een optie. Nee, Laat me nog een beetje de moeite waard, dus gewoon doorgaan. Ah, ja. Zit het niet anders ook, hè? Nee, gewoon ademen. Ja. Go into the natural fall of the neckline. Okay, also look at the nice short facial hairs that don't grow back as a beard or something like that. People tell you that, but it's stupid. <laughs> oh. That's the same as you go into the military at your 20th and come out bald. And that <laughs> cause of the military is not true. <laughs> They're just your hormones. Put in my comb. Connect to the line of cutting. Go to the fine part of my comb. Take the contour line. Create a nice neckline. As a service in my salon, people with short hair can go by at the end of the day and I do neckline for free. Otherwise you have to find somebody who does it for you and that brings mostly nothing. So if you go to the line of cutting again, turn my comb around, create a nice circle around her ears. <laughs> With the tip, I create a softness into the side beard. Yeah, there is a clap for that So far, the work on the contour line. Now I only have to do the fringe, but I've Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Pull the, the skin real tight. Such a nice. Yeah, like that. Like it. Lift the skin up. Do the same to the neckline. Gently go in. It's a bit hard. You wet it a little bit. I never do this with shaving cream because then the hairs grow back into the skin. Because in shaving cream there's a product just for men that pulls out the hairs out of the skin. And then before they grow back they are into your skin so you have a red uh, a bubble, <laughs> a pickle. A pickle, that's the right word. So you get a red pickle and you don't want it. Mm. 
go into the front. Pull in the skin, get in with the tip, clean the contour line. Yeah. Coming to the front, just wetted it. Now I know she wants uh, a short fringe with different lengths. Yeah. So go in. And open my scissor a little bit more than normally, so I get that effect. Not make a straight line, of course, but otherwise you, can, you do it on, for nothing. Fine tune, just laying the scissor in. Take away a little bit here, not much, just to give it that special effect. So go in where you see the light slice. Point cut. Hairs on the nose, she never needed them. Never need. Hattie the Hex. Adjust the line a little bit with roughness. So now I can style the hair. Okay, go back to my uh, no yellow spray. Now I need just a little bit, not much. And mostly in the under hairs, you would need a little bit because near to the skin, they always are harder to get, the yellow colors. And I really love it when it's a fresh silver tone. Then I take my hands, you see the nice silver tones of it. Take a blow dryer and just circle with my fingers. When I want him to go that way, I turn that way. I want to go that way, I turn that way. And I want to have a lot of volume with my hands, I just do a little flat hat. So you get a going against effect. Well. So far, blow drying. Now I want to, to get a stylish product, so I combine two products with each other. I take a clay and I take a crystal. No, clay. Paste. Oh, paste. Yeah. Bora, that's product of Glint. I take a little bit. And of Goldwell, I take. A crystal clear, almost the same amount. Those are mixed to each other. Put them mostly all over my hands because I can work much longer with it and I don't bring everything in one time on the hairs. Start at the back, wiggle to the front, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, the fucking amount now. Oh. Toss is going to sleep in a minute. Balls are away for you. And the nice thing of the wax is when I put it into the clay, it gets more flexible and it gets also the nicely shine, fresh hair. Mostly it's nicer to see. It can work out very nicely. And my reservoir is on top. So when I need a little bit more, I take it from the top onto my fingers and onto the hairs.
Now this new hairstyle of Toss. Just have to shave out the lines beneath the neck paper and clean them. That's not my so I can do the with clipper. It's only three hairs or something like that, so I don't show you that. It's a real girl. <laughs> We see each other next video and Tos will turn around to show you the end of stuff. Bye bye. Oh, deal. Ah, twee tellers gaat hij. Ondeugend, joh. Ja. Oh. Dat is echt leuk. Je ziet er veel jonger uit. Oké, okay, je mag een puntje daar. Ja. Superman. Superman, dat ben ik niet. Ja, Met Theo, de kapper. Theo de. <laughs> Dank je wel, Tos. Superman. Ik ga even kijken in de spiegel. Ja, ik ga eens laten zien. Uh, I really love this kind of mirrors because then you can show the customer all the, the lines of the hairs. And for those who have a mirror like this, for little children there's also a funny part about it because they want to remember things. So when you put them like this, and you get maybe you can see into the lights. You see a lot of toss yeah. coming by, and there's about 12, 13 times yourself. I mostly tell there's the brothers or sisters they throw away. Because you're only <laughs> the only one. So we see each other next video. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. Zoals we hadden shorts herstellen. Ja, met die piekjes hier. Ja. En dan eh, ja, hier zo bij de oren. Soft. En dan eh, lekker eh, niet in één keer zo opgeschoren. Maar ja, goed. Jij weet dat wel. Yeah. Jij weet hoe dat moet. En dan leuk van die plukjes. Ja, het was wel een ja. nice, short, fresh, fresh uh, spring, summer herstellen. In our ja. natural colors. Ja. Wil je een rondje draaien? Ja. Kijk eens wat een bos. En ze really does short hair.